everybody. Welcome back to Morning Glory Farmstead, where my channel is all about gardening, animals, and nature. So you guys check out the playlist. Today, I'm actually planting some flowers for butterflies and hummingbirds, and I hope those bloom again next year. We'll see how that goes. But I'm also saving some seed. And so as a follow-up to my last video about saving seeds, I want to do an actual demo today that's pretty quick that shows you how efficiently I save seeds. If you really want to save every single seed from your plant, this may not work for you. But for me, it's pretty efficient, and I get a lot of seeds doing it this way. So here we go with my top tips and tricks on saving seeds. I had to grab a quick shot of cedar, you guys, because I call her seeds for short. So I thought it was ironic that seeds was hanging out with me while I was collecting seeds. All right, step number one, you're just gonna rub the dried pod gently with your fingers, and those seeds are gonna fall right into the plate because they're good and dry. These seeds are actually from my Rocky Top Greens, and so they're a little bit lighter in color than some of the other seeds I'm gonna show in just a minute. Now, it's very likely that as you're doing this, some of the pods may fall into the plate. When that happens, it's no big deal. Just pick them up individually, rub them between your fingers, and the seeds are gonna fall right out on the plate. And then I just kinda of throw the pod to the side on the ground. They're really tiny. But once you get all that done, gently blow on the plate. As you do this, some of the debris is gonna fly off. Some of the seeds that may not be any good are gonna fly off, and so you'll be left mostly with the seeds that you wanna store. So then you're gonna just bend your plate in half. This just keeps them from flying away everywhere. And then I use a funnel, and I stick it inside the envelope because that way I lose less seeds on the ground. They don't blow away as I'm trying to put them in the envelope and it just works really smoothly. So you can see they're all down in the bottom, worked out great, I didn't spill any on the outside. Now make sure you seal it up tight. I didn't seal it up tight because I'm actually gonna get some more seeds later. Now this is a different method and I just wanted to show you this. If you want, you can actually sit there and rub your fingers on each pod and that way you're not missing as many seeds or possibly missing them. Okay, so these are a different type of seed. You can see how dark these are, but again, just blow on the plate, get the debris off, you're gonna fold your plate up, pour it into the funnel, and it's gonna go right down into the envelope, and then just make sure your envelope or your bag or whatever you're using is labeled with whatever it is, and at least the year and the month. You don't have to necessarily put the day, but that'll kinda of give you an idea of when you did it. Now I do use a baggie to keep them from getting wet, but it's a little more cost effective, I think, if I put multiple envelopes with seeds inside the baggie. And this is Maple, Cedar has left and Maple decided to join me, so I got a quick shot of her. All right guys, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you learned a few more tips and tricks about saving seeds, and I'll see you again real soon in the next video. Until then, you guys have a great couple of days. Bye-bye.